It don't seem two minutes ago since you were telling me all about your favourite meat cleaver. Now look at you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I am absolutely petrified, so I'll, I'll keep it brief. Um, unfortunately, I, un I inherited my dad's golfing ability and, and not his love of public speaking, so... <laughs> it's mainly just a, a chance to say thank you to you all. It's, it's been hard work getting here, to be honest, and we're finally here. Um, I've literally done nothing, Lauren's organised everything, we've had a lot of help off. I, I've done nothing, hard enough, <laughs> hard enough to have taken my, my trousers to tailors, that would have about as... So, there has been a few tears and tantrums along the way, but yeah, that was just from me. <laughs> um, she looks stunning, I'm proud to now call her my wife, I know it's been a long time, too, too long, but we're there now. When he asked me for permission to marry Lauren, he didn't just ring me, he came to the shop to see me. He said, put kettle on, Dave. So I went round back, put kettle on, and he come in, he says, Dave, he says, uh, I'm going to ask Lauren to marry me at Christmas. My first reaction was, about bloody time. <laughs> it took you long enough, <laughs> but we got here. Finally, at last, we've got here. After all this COVID crap and everything, you know, we got here. He's a good, honest lad. And John, me and Yvonne love you to death. Thank you.